This next entry is all about the game of the year in our area, one that ended years of close calls and frustration. The number two spot goes to the UWL football team with their, their dramatic win over Whitewater. The 14th ranked Eagles trying to knock off their rival for the first time since 2004, and the cross couldn't have asked for a better start. They forced a fumble at the Whitewater one, followed by an 84-yard touchdown, Zach Weir to Jack Studer. He finished with 150 yards receiving in this clash of big time programs. QB1 at the helm now, Kaiser Heltebrand finds Ryan Bartol to make it a 17-7 ball game. To the fourth quarter now, and Weir's gonna hand it off to Helterbrand, and they fool the Warhawks. It's a pass to Wyatt Lemoyne for an easy touchdown. That makes it a 14 point game, but hold on. Whitewater erases it. In their own territory, they managed to a long touchdown to get the home crowd fired up. It's 34 all with around six minutes left, but now for Michael Stack, a 51 yard game winning field goal attempt. It's up and good as the clock hits zero. Pandemonium on the field as the Eagles take down the Warhawks 37-34. In the final, what was truly the game of the year in the Cooley region, and that's that's a that's a lifetime, I and mean, that's a long time trying to trying to beat those guys in a, in a program that has a lot of resources. The way that game went, there's ups and downs, momentum swings back and forth. Took a lot of people in that game, a lot of different a lot of different guys had a huge piece in that, but uh, sure hope our guys enjoy it. I mean, nervous, but we've done it a lot in practice. You know, we put a lot of effort into our special teams. Uh, just thankful for the coach to go. You know, give me the opportunity. Everyone on the field good unit takes their job very seriously at practice, so just kind of got, got to convert it. It was fun. There were over 20,000 people on hand to watch that game, and that was just the tip of the iceberg. UWL went on to sweep the WIAC and make their deepest playoff run since 1996. A no-brainer to take our number two spot in our countdown.